Uh, hello, uh, today uh, I'll like continue uh, Easter recipes and uh, it's a um, recipe called Easter egg uh, caramel slice. So what we need for that is uh, we need um, a rectangular uh, slab of pan, which is we grease with a cooking uh, spray and uh, align with a baking paper to make sure it's actually two centimeters just to put two fingers sort of and it will be overlap right around because we need it slightly tall so this ba base is 16 um, 16 and a half centimeter by 26 centimeter uh, by base measurement uh, so once we uh, grease in line uh, let it uh, sit um, just uh, on the side um, and what we do is with our recipe, we combine uh, one and a half cup of a plain uh, flour. We place it uh, all that in the food uh, processor. You can use also a blender as well. Um, then uh, we can place uh, one third of a cup caster sugar. And we have 80 gram of chopped butter so what we do is next we process it all together uh, until it's all combined and then we can um once mixture uh, resemble crumbles uh, then we can add one yolk and two tablespoons of cold water Once your mixture resemble a uh, crumble, so what we do, we add one uh, egg yolk and two tablespoons of cold water. And as you can see, mixture now almost come together like that. It's not exactly come into bowl, but it's almost come together. So what we do is next, we place our mixture into prepared pan and we... We'll press it with the help of spoon. We just press it all into our base. Once we press our mixture uh, on bottom of our pencils, what's how it looks like now. So we will place in the oven uh, preheat to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 uh, Fahrenheit for 15 minutes or until it's just a light golden. Then we set aside to cool and we uh, unwrap our Easter eggs, which is I done it already. After 15 minutes in the oven, it's um, basically uh, baked now our slice as you can see it's outside slightly slightly golden and uh, inside all nice and golden as well so it's let it slightly cool make sure it's not too hot and we needed 500 gram of mini solid easter eggs uh, you probably need this 125 grams so you need four packets of those so what we do is next we will place them right here right in order everywhere until we fill up all the areas right on top of our slices as you can see uh, i fill up half of um uh, uh, tin basically with the our solid easter eggs for whole slice we need 500 gram I thought I just try a little bit tiny bit different so we have 250 gram of Easter uh, solid Easter eggs and half of it we just sprinkle with just the average uh, M&Ms and uh, um, uh, I just like to try to see what will happen what slice will look like if we have it uh, with Easter eggs or m &Ms. so next step is we have a desiccated coconut which is we use one cup of it and we sprinkle right on top 
of our uh, entire slice and uh, then a uh, last ingredient is the now we just need one cup that's nice and last ingredient is one can which is 395 gram of condensed milk what we do with that we drizzle right around everywhere until we use all entire can then once it's all done we will place in the oven bag back in the oven for about 28 to 30 minutes depend on your oven uh, until our uh, top will nice and um, golden well, once you finish with your uh, all condensed milk place it in the oven for about 28 to 30 minutes until it's golden uh, and center it's a firm to touch sides will be slightly slightly golden and you can see the slightly come off from edges uh, now uh easter egg caramel slice is baked and let it uh, cool completely uh, in a pan before you cut uh, into pieces and so so i just simply dust it with the uh, icing sugar to make it a little bit more contrast um, as you can see see this is our uh, solid uh, easter eggs and uh, on the slice so it's nice uh, and this ones is we have the um which is we place with on top uh, m ms uh, I, I try one it's actually very nice taste uh, i actually never done it before that's why i thought i do half and half but it's up to you what you like to uh, choose what look you like to have on your table uh, and but this is with the uh, solid easter eggs as you can see they actually right here and this is with uh, simple M&Ms uh, all recipe will be in the description box thank you very much for your time with me today until next time goodbye